So we made some preseason predictions. And we talked about some stuff here on this pod together. And I'm going to open it up where, because I think I sent it to y'all as takes that we'd retweet and takes that we delete. So I'm going to go with a take that I want to delete first. Boy, was I wrong about Steph. I think, I don't think, I know. Here's why I've hated on Steph so hard. Because for nice one, game. I was very early to the, to the Steph tree, to the, to the Steph party. I was very early on the Steph party. But anyways, what was yeah. I talking about? Oh, yeah, um, a Steph thing. Yeah. And, you know, he beat LeBron and it hurt me. And then he became the media <clears throat> darling. And I think that because the media painted him as this, like, perfect guy, the baby face assassin, and and he's just so he's so relatable and all of this stuff. Maybe he's relatable to people in the media, but Stephen Curry's not relatable to me. He's a light-skinned, green-eyed, golf-playing, can shoot from half-court, dad was in the NBA-ass fan. I don't relate to that. I th- th- That's not relatable to me. Don't you play golf? I picked it up in the last couple of months. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I, but at, at that point in my life, and this idea that we paint yeah. Steph as like, like they treat Steph like he's five foot eleven, a hundred and sixty five pounds, and he doesn't curse people out on the basketball court. And I think I was more upset and 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 shaped by the media narrative of Steph. And then I finally got over to say, let me just watch the basketball. And then I got to see him without Clay Thompson. I go, yeah, bro. That was some bad takes. So I, you know, I, 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 I was wrong. Your LeBron love clouded your judgment. My LeBron love that, and then just I think that he was just painted like as this innocent person who doesn't talk shit. Like I remember listening to an interview where somebody was uh, talking about to one of Steph's teammates, and they were like, "Oh yeah, he doesn't get caught. He doesn't care about stuff like that." And they're like, "What do you mean, Steph? No, Steph. Steph is nasty. Like." He, he's like, yeah, I'm better than all these bumps. Like he's he's like that, you know what I mean? But yeah, because I mean, I he think smiles he with his like and green eyes, they think he doesn't. He he's not. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's not yeah. built that way. He doesn't have like all the tattoos and stuff. And I think that there is a a racial element to the way certain people are covered based on their appearance. And because Steph is on the more approachable side of what an athlete like on on an athlete's appearance. I, I think that he just got so much media love and he was never like villainized for doing the same things that people did. I think that bothered me and it made me an impartial, uh, um, low level analyst. Yeah, I'd agree with all that. So, Glad you yeah, found that, the light though. Yeah, yeah. See Bye. what you did there? Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I know. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Or, yeah, yeah. Or, or that's too late with it. You were good. You're fine. Yeah. 